as you know, I had to rebuild this whole column and do all that. So now I can play around with it and adjust it. If I raise this side up, I can raise that side up the same, and then the angle will still be going down. So if the water's here, it's going down this way, but then when it gets about to here, the water's gonna go down this way, and then it's gonna go down between those columns. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm making a video of this because I wouldn't even have really thought about that at first of making that up just a little bit and up just a little bit and, and get and direct the water this way, you know, to, a, to go around the column. Before, maybe, maybe there was a low spot right here. Maybe there was a flat spot and the water got caught right in here and it puddled and eventually it, it ate through, it found a crack and then it got underneath there. Same thing over here. This could have been, their block right here could have been slightly low. And when the water was here, instead of going out over to here where it's supposed to, maybe it was right here, and maybe it was kind of puddling to this outside corner and right to this inside right here. So see, I, I don't know how they built it. And at this point, I can do, a couple different things over here like I like I explained because now I'm rebuilding it on my own okay and I'll look at that I'll look at that over there once I level that across there I might do the same thing over here you know I, I can't I can't raise this side up too high because I don't want it up too much higher than this you know, if I go up about an eighth inch above that, that's okay. But I want to encourage this water here is going to be going at an angle downhill. I kind of want it to come out over this way as well. But I'll have to look at this and if and and see. Here's the little weep holes I was talking about. See those? In fact, that one's got caulking in it. That one's got half caulking in it. So nothing weeped through there. And see, when the water was here before, look where that weep hole is. It's about a quarter inch above this inside corner. So do you really think water is going to go out of that weep hole? No. The water's going to sit there until it finds the lowest point. You're not going to have the water built up that far. Look, this one's up too high. See? This one is down low but there's a little bit of concrete in it or something it's just a pinhole and when they put that when they put that uh, sand in here they could have had some sand granules in the way after they after they put the tiles down they put some very fine sand to put in into the joints and stuff and on this outside edge they did the same thing and so sand went down in there because I had to sweep it all out I remember so see if that was covered up guess where the water sat yeah it went over to this edge even though they had this wrapped before eventually it's gonna get weak right there and the water's gonna find a place to go out and kaboom and kaboom and kaboom down there you remember this was all water damage this was all water damaged because the water went into the corner kaboom so all all these different things I'm seeing now that I can prevent because I'm here I'm rebuilding everything and now I know what to do now see what I was talking about I made it just a hair long not very much but just a smidge and I whacked it in there so it will stay up without me touching it I I tried to do that this one's just a hair longer than this side it's about a quarter inch longer than from over here and I measured it cut it and it was just a hair loose so I took it out and I took some of my one inch screws right here my little one inch screws and I and I screwed it in on the back side you can see where my screw marks are there and there and that made it tight tight enough so 
it'll hold up there and snug enough so that I can tap it around and do whatever. I'm not going to leave those screws in there. I'm going to end up, uh, I can use this board here for the second floor joist over here. See, the first one's going to be this long one here. I've just got up there. Now I can mark that, as I was saying, right? I can mark it and then level across over to there. This one is actually going to go in here, so I'll tap it over and then I'll measure it off. And I'm not even sure if that wall is square to this edge over here. I'm just going to have to kind of make an assumption that it is when I put the plywood in. When I cut the, the first piece of fly, plywood, it'll tell me whether or not I'm going to have to do something funky on the notch, whether or not uh, the, last, the last joist it's going to be right in here for the eight feet. It's like eight feet six inches or whatever. This last uh, two by six floor joist, once I once I get it up there, I'm going to leave it loose, or I may not even put it in at all until I get the plywood up here. Because if I have to notch it a little bit further over there, cut off the end because it's not perfectly square or something, I, I may have to line it up to that. And if I do that, and if I put this in, then it's going to be off, and I'm going to have to slide it over after I've got it nailed in with the joist hanger nails. I'll probably what I can do is I can put the uh, joist hanger in with uh, just one inch uh, dry sheetrock screws, the black ones I just showed you, and then if I have to move it, I can loosen that up, m tap it over. When I know exactly where it's going to go, I can undo or I can put the nails in. You know, the joist hanger nails, that's what I'll do. And, uh, and I'll do that. So this one here will probably be the second one over here. And um, then, it won't, then it won't be short. And if I do get one that's just slightly short, I guess I could do the same thing. Just take a screw on the back side because what's gonna hold that ultimately is the joist hanger. The joist hanger is gonna hold it, not the not toenail, nails going into that or anything like that. The joist hanger is king. Okay, so now I can get up there and mark that. This is like one of the most important parts of the project is, is making sure this is right. See, I thought it was flush at the bottom. I'm looking up here and it's actually sticking up, so I'm gonna have to tap that. Tap that down. I don't care. I don't care about the bottom as much as I care about the top, right? And then I'll have to I'll have to look over here. Look how I'm on this ladder. I've got my foot over here and the ladder's over here. All this so I can try to hold the uh, the camera for you. See I want that flush there probably like that and that still looks good there so now now I can take my, my pencil see right there and There, see. Now I can take, I can take this two by six down, and then I can transfer my pencil mark over to there, using my level and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So there, I've got, I've got that. Now I've got to do the same thing over here. I'm gonna put a pencil mark there, line it up, and a pencil mark over there. Okay. I got that one marked over there. Now I'm going to take those two, these two down. But before I take it down, that one's number one. Okay? And see, I put an arrow facing up, up there. First I put an X. I could just leave an X or an arrow. And I know that the arrow will always be at this end, going downhill. And so, see, now, now I can take these 
I can take this down and I can mess with it and everything. And incidentally, before I cut these, I crowned them. I wanted to make sure that the crown was facing up. And that was the other reason why I put an X, meaning the crown, meaning the crown is up. And I could put an arrow, an X, whatever, and then I'll just remember that that is on my high side over here, my low side's over there, okay? So this one, this one is probably gonna be number two uh, because it's gonna go next, next to that one because there's not much room for error. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mark that uh, number two. So it's not gonna, ultimately it's not gonna go right there. But I was just using that as a template. And like I say, this one's longer. It's about a 5 sixteenths or so longer than that one. So the next one over, I'll shave this one off just a smidge after I measure it and, and I'll whack it in there and get it snug. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take those down. Then we can mess around with the level and see, see whether or not this piece here has to be moved up or down and see what we're gonna do from this, from this point here on over to the step. What we're gonna do, keeping in mind my idea of making this slightly a little bit higher. We'll see.